a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with the duties of serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do all the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and upset about many things. There is one thing only that is needed. Mary has chosen the better part and she will not be deprived of it. The Gospel of the Lord. In this familiar gospel, Jesus is simply telling Martha that she's busy about all the wrong things. Rather than worrying about hospitality, she should be busy about listening to what he has to teach her. A year or so ago, I had a long layover in the Houston airport. And as I was sitting in the boarding area reading a book, across from me was an attractive young mother and three sons, who I would guess were about six, eight, and ten years old. And in the entire two hours that I sat there, not one of those four people ever spoke a word to one another. Every one of them was sitting there like this. Rather than bonding as a family, they were busy about all the wrong things. We constantly have to keep asking ourselves, why so many of our children are not here. And there are a multitude of answers to that, but one of them has to be pointing the finger at the church. For with, until the last few years, the previous 40 years have been all about judgment, about condemnation, about excluding rather than including, about rules and regulations. Then we have to ask why is a Sunday evening mass at Blessed Sacrament filled wall to wall every week with teenagers and young people. And their parents never had to tell them to go to mass. They go there because they want to. And why? Because there's a dynamic young priest who's in love with his priesthood and he doesn't talk to them about excluding people or judging or condemning. He talks to them about Jesus Christ, and they get it, and they keep coming back week after week for more. He's busy about all the right things, and every one of us needs to ask ourselves, am I busy about the right things? Amen.